Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. I just wanted to share with you where I get my stones from because so many people are asking. And I do mention Gail on Facebook, but I thought I'd actually show you some of the stones that I've just received off her. They're absolutely gorgeous. These are, I think I've got a few undrilled, some front drilled and some top to bottom. But they are absolutely lovely and I'll put a link on the screen and in the description below. So if you're struggling to get hold of drilled hearts, because I do love seeing the, the drilled hearts in the jewellery and I do do a lot of tutorials on hearts and they are drilled in different ways. So some of these are undrilled. Beautiful shine on that one. And um, obviously you can, you can ask her for whatever you want. This one's drilled on the front, front to back. And I've got one here, beautiful sparkly goldstone drilled from top to bottom. So they're ideal for all the different tutorials that I do. So I just wanted to share with you because so many people ask me where do you get your hearts from. I do buy some off Etsy, but it's hit and miss with what you can get. But if you go to Gail, if she hasn't got any, you can contact her. And she's very helpful, very useful. <clears throat> and she'll help you out and you can order whatever you want then. So these are absolutely beautiful. So I shall be doing a few tutorials with these over the next few days. Again, I'll put a link on the screen and in the description below. So to make this pendant, you'll need um, today I'm using square wire. I um, if you're buying if you're in the UK and you're buying square wire and half round wire, it's really hard to get hold of. And if you do find some, it's really hard to work with. So I've given up and I've gone to Rio, and I've bought some wire from Rio. So I've got twenty gauge um, square copper from Rio Grande, and I bought the half round as well, which is also the twenty gauge, which is zero point eight millimeter so i've got two lengths of square um 20 gauge which is a 0.8 millimeter nine inches which is 23 centimeters the half round wire i've got one length at eight inches which is 20 centimeters i've got weaving wire i buy all my round wire and my weaving wire from metal clays for you so i've wound my weaving wire onto a bobbin this is a Bobby's Bobbin by Bead Smith. If you don't have one of these, you can just cut lengths as you go. But these are really handy to stop the wire from keep flailing about. I've got a heart drilled stoner. You can use any size you like. If yours is the same size as mine, then your wire length should be the same. If yours is slightly bigger or smaller, add to take a few inches to your wire. My stone is 25 uh, millimeters by 25. I think it's just a tiny bit bigger than that. And as I say, drawn from top to bottom. If you're struggling to get hold of stones, then you can always contact Gail on Facebook. So I've got a little three millimeter bead, which I also bought from Rio, um, and tools. We've got uh, pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters, nylon pliers. If you don't have nylon pliers, don't worry. I just like having these handy to um, straighten wires, flatten weaves, whatever. It's just nice to have them there. I'm going to be twisting the wires today and I'll be using these pliers just to help hold the wire while I twist it. So take your two square wires and then take your half round wire. We're going to start in the centre. So if you find the centre point with your thumb, we're going to start just to the left of your thumb there. So take your half round wire and we're just going to wrap around and around these two wires so keep going until you get to the end of your wire I've got a little bit left there so keep going until you've got a little bit left on the end and we're gonna just press it together and I'm gonna flatten it down a bit and we're gonna cut this wire at the back and 
So then we're going to shape this into a little loop. So bend it over to the back. And then as they start, as the wires start to come together, you want to separate those two back wires. Oops, keep pushing. Until it comes together and we've got a nice little loop there. Bent my wires a bit there when I slipped. So I've just used my round nose pliers in there, just to pull that around a little bit so it's nice and tidy. And then I'm going to take this tail end and take it around the whole thing, just to hold it in place. And I'm just going to go around a single wire. And I'll cut that off. Press that round. So I've just made a little bail loop for the top there. And my two front wires coming straight front forward. So I'm going to hold on to this now and I'm just going to twist these two wires. So using my, I mean you can twist these however you like. I've seen people using all sorts of gadgets and drills and things. I like to do it the old way. So I'm just going to grip it with my pliers, and you can grip it with any pliers really, but this tends to, you know, mark the wires a bit less. So grip that, and we're going to twist the whole thing around. Hard to show you when I'm this close, to make a nice twist in those wires. And the thing with the rear wire, when you buy the rear wire, it's like, it's got like a shrink wrapping around it, so it's all lovely and shiny and new when you receive it. I was really pleased with it. And the wire's nice and soft. This video isn't sponsored by anybody, I just really like that wire. So I'm just twisting and twisting that wire until it's how I want it to be. I'm going to do that with the other front forward facing wire as well. So you've got the two wires coming forward which are now both twisted. And you've got two wires going straight down. And we need to grip the wires that are going straight down. And I think it's just the one. We need to take the one. Forward. And the other one goes to the back for now. So you can see where this is going. Now you've got to get your stone and thread it onto the wire that goes straight down, the one that's not twisted. So pop your stone on the wire and wriggle it all the way up to the top. So this wire comes out the back. And these two twisted ones are sticking out of the front there. So make sure your stone is how you want it and you've got the front of your stone facing forward. Mine's got a flat back so you have to make sure that that is at the back if that's what you want. And then we're going to take these two wires that are twisted and we're going to cross them over each other. I'm going to bend this back wire down to so make sure your stone is right up high how you want it to be and bend that back wire straight down. So 
So now we've got two wires coming out the bottom. So I'm now going to shape these top wires, trying to hold it all together in the right place as you go. I'm just going to put a little loop at the top there, like a little scoop. I'll do that for the other wire too. So I'm going to add my bead into that little gap there. So we need a short length of weaving wire, about 6 inches, that's 15 centimetres. So cut yourself a bit of weaving wire and wrap around one of the sides, one of the twisted wires. I've gone around quite loosely so it'll slide because I think we're going to struggle to slide our wire on this twisted wire. I'm going to slide it up to be in a kind of central position. My stone keeps shifting there. So now you need to find your bead. I can't catch mine. And thread it onto that little bit of weaving wire. Slide it down into place and then we're going to attach it to whoops, the other side. And let your wires come together a little bit so that the bead fits nice and snug in there. And then we'll wrap three times around this side of the wire. So we've attached our little bead in place and then we just need to cut those two tail ends off. So next we're going to shape the bottom part. I think I'm just going to attach a little bit of weaving wire where the wires cross over just to hold them, stop them from moving about. So take another little piece of weaving wire. We're going to wrap as we did before, three times around one side. And don't do it too tight because we'll struggle to slide it down this twisty wire. Slide it down to be the other side of the join. And then go around the two wires. Why won't that focus? Right, a couple of times. And then wrap around one of the bottom wires three times. And then we just need to cut those tail ends off as well. Always remember to flatten down any sharp ends from your cut ends. So they don't catch on anything. So make sure the stone is up in place. So now we're going to shape the rest of these wires. So hold the top in place because we're happy with that now. And we're just going to scoop these wires in a nice easy scoop. Take your time getting the shape right. We want a nice big scoop. And we're going to do the same for this side too. We want a nice big scoop. And then have a play with those wires until you're happy with the shaping. So I'm happy with that shape. So we've got a little loop and we've got a big loop. And we've got the two wires coming down the bottom there. We want the two wires to be next to each other. So take the back wire and bend it around the stone. And then twist and straighten the wire. 
so that they sit next to each other. I'll bet that a bit too much, haven't I? So that they sit next to each other nicely at the bottom. And then you've got your front shape. So we're holding the front shape in place and I'm holding the back wire down as well. I'm going to take these wires now and we're going to just gently go around the wires at the bottom. And then we're going to, holding it again in place, we're going to cut these two wires off. So we're just going to wrap them around a little bit more just so it's definitely secure. And that one's going to come up that side. And we can cut those off quite short and then press them around with pliers. That's the plan anyway. Making sure those two wires stay next to each other at the bottom. I'm just squeezing them, squeezing the twisted ones around. So I've chopped those wires off and pressed them around and that's what we have so far. Please mention me, Kelly Jones Design, when you're sharing your work online and please don't show images of the back as it gives the design away. Though you get this tutorial for free, I get to advertise all my other tutorials that I sell to you while you're watching this. So you get it for free and I just get a little bit of advertising. But I would prefer that you didn't give this design away so everyone who wants to make this comes here and sees all my little adverts so thanks everybody for mentioning me So next we're going to weave over these two wires that are coming out the bottom there. So take your weaving wire and we're going to wrap around the bottom wire three times and slide that right up to the base there. And then we're going to wrap around both wires three times. So that's our repeat. Three wraps around the bottom wire, three wraps around both wires. So I've done eight repeats of that weave. I'm going to cut that weaving wire. From the beginning flatten down any sharp bits and we're going to bend this over at the base to the right and then bend it over so we're doing a loop over to the left So at this, at this point, your little loop needs to be quite central. So now I'm going to take this inner wire. So you need to do enough repeats so that it comes back down. So your weave reaches at the bottom there. Then I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to go around again into another little loop and 
So now I'm going to go across the two wires together. So I'm doing the three wraps around the two wires. And then instead of going just around the single wire like I was going to before, I'm going to go over. Is that going to slide up nice? I'll go the other way. So I want to go around the whole thing because I want to tie it down to that loop there. And I'm going to come up between the two. I'm going to go around again. And this time I'm going to come up underneath the two. And I'm going to do another two wraps around that bottom wire. slide that wire along so we've just carried on with the normal repeats only we've strapped it down to the back so it can't be lifted I'm just going to do a couple more repeats of that weave so I've done a few more repeats of that weave and then when it gets to there I'm going to cut my weaving wire And I'm going to bend, I'm going to bend the both wires over, but I'm going to take the bottom one and I'm going to scoop it down. And then I'm going to scoop the top one around to follow the shape so it sits right in tight at the top there. So then take your weaving wire and we're going to wrap onto this, the bigger loop, the top one. And we're going to attach. I'm going to attach in two spots to make it nice and secure. So we're going to attach here, just to the left and then just to the right. So you need to cut your bobbin off if you're using a bobbin. We need to get in about six inches. Whoops. And I'm going to go around the two wires three times. And then I'm going to go around the single wire three times. So I need to cut off these ends now. And then I can use this weaving wire again. cut another bit because that weaving wire was tiny so you need about another six inches and we go three times around that wire we're just going to attach on the other side the same way do you want to check your wire shape in first and we want to fix it about there and again we're going to have to go around this wire so around the single wire and then three times around the two wires and then three times around the single wire. And then cut those um, tail ends off too. So I just need to cut and curl these wires now. And I'll have a little curl on the top. So 
So I just need to oxidise mine now. So there we have it, finished, I've oxidised mine. I did a short um, video on oxidising, so I'll put that a link to that in the description below if you'd like to oxidise yours. So I hope you find this tutorial easy to follow and I didn't confuse you too much. And hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and thanks to everyone who has. Bye!